Guys, we just got done watching a movie that really surprised me. It like, totally blew me away at how good it was. It's called The World's Fastest Indian, and it stars Herbert James Burt Monroe. And uh, he was a motorcycle racer from New Zealand. I'm reading it right here, um, so I don't screw it up. Famous for setting an under 1,000 cc world record at Bonville on the 26th of August, 1967. This record still stands. Monroe was 68 years old. That's 10 years old. He's turned 58 and, and was riding a 47-year-old machine when he set his last record. The most amazing thing is I believe that record still stands today. Yeah, one of his records still stands. 50 years later, working from his home, which is absolutely remarkable. In, 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 Var, in, Var, in Cargill, he spent 20 years highly modifying his 1920 Indian motorcycle that he had bought that same year. So watch this movie, guys. The world's fastest Indian. How do they, how do they watch it? Uh, we watch it on Amazon Prime for free because uh, it's a free video on there if you have Amazon Prime. So there you go. So um, he spent 20 years highly modifying his 1920 Indian motorcycle that he had bought the same year. Monroe set his first New Zealand speed record in 1938 and la later set seven more. He traveled to compete at the Bonneville Salt Flats, attempting to set world speed records. During his 10 visits to the Salt Flats, he set three speed records, one of which still, still stands today on his old Indian. How cool is that? Um, world's fastest Indian. You got to watch this movie. I was Anthony Hopkins yeah, yeah, is the yeah, star. Excellent anyway. actor. Yeah. I was um, kind of distracted just working in my office over there. And Chrissy's like, you want to watch World's Fast Indian? I'm like, oh, it's probably, you know, I've never heard anything good about it. And so I was skeptical, you know, and as obsessed with motorcycles as I am. Let me tell you, it's a kick-ass movie. There's a little kid in the movie. And it's me who picked it out. Chrissy, Chrissy's <laughs> the best. She's in charge of picking out all the movies from here all the time. She picked the, what was last night? Well, we watched the movie last oh, night too. A Man Called Otto with that, Tom that's Hanks. That's another great movie, Man that Called Otto. That was really good. But um, we don't really watch a lot of movies. Uh, um, and if we do, my office is back there in the corner where that light you can see is. That's where my computer is. And, and I'm usually in there. Up above. And hers is up above there. She's usually up there by that wreath. Designing graphics for our <laughs> yeah. bikes for you guys, and uh, I'm usually writing ads or working on editing videos or something over there. So um, it's Sunday night; we're allowed to watch. It's Sunday night, so we get a little break or watch a movie, and of course, that'd be about motorcycles. So everything we do is about motorcycles, pretty much. So, but freaking awesome movie. Um, I won't tell you too much more about it, but it, it's it's uh, just it was absolutely well done. well done. Remarkable. His efforts and his successes are the basis of the film that we just watched, The World's Fastest Indian, starring Anthony Hopkins, awesome actor, and an earlier 1971 short documentary film, Burt Monroe, Offerings to the God of Speed, Speed, both directed by Roger Donaldson. Wow, Monroe was born in 1899, over a century ago, to William Monroe, a farmer, and Lily Agnes Robinson, and in, in Inverker Grill, it'd be hard to pronounce that. Wow. He was a twin. His twin sister died at birth. Monroe grew up on a farm in Edendale, east of Inver... I'll just call it Inverco. Wherever, where he grew up. His grandfather was from <laughs> from northern Scotland and settled on a farm in that, that place. <laughs> Monroe's interest in speed began at an early age, riding the family's fastest horse across the farm, despite the complaints of his father. So, anyways, just, um, just awesome. I'm going to stop there. Because this goes on for pages, I don't want to bore you to just put the damn movie on and watch it. All right, and then, <laughs> and then because I said so, you're gonna love it. It is no, good. And then and then um, comment after you watch it, or if you have watched it already, and if you watched it already, watch it again. It's freaking cool, man. Definitely awesome. Anyways, thanks for listening to our little ramble. Love y'all. God bless America. Good night, guys.